That's not how it works. And that's not how it went. Ah. She put that gun in your face and you went all... <laughs> Keep talking. The truth this time. Fine. But where was I? <laughs> you were in the middle of this. I was getting Gordas back. Oh shit. Who's this guy? Shit. Oh. Little boomerang. Oof. Not here. We gotta go. This isn't over. You're the one leaving. Looks over to me. No. It'll feel much different than this. I'll let you know when it happens. Tell me, are you all just completely stupid? Someone gonna say something? I mean, not completely. I mean, at least not all of us. I am huh. here to help you, you idiots! Oh. Trigvon. <laughs> this is easily the most annoying contract I've ever taken. At least if it was an assassination, I'd have the pleasure of a kill at the end of it. Oh, well, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Who even hired you? A man named Felix. Oh? I normally don't divulge that kind of information, but he wanted you to know. He said to tell you he's sorry. He should be. What did he hire you for, exactly? Felix wanted me to pass along some knowledge to mentor you, to help you survive. He felt you two had some untapped potential. You couldn't have told us this earlier? It's not exactly something you scream down an alley when you've got Valerie's goons running around. My work requires some discretion. Oh, discretion. When you say that, are you referring to the part where you were chasing us through Hollow Point, trying to behead us with your shield? If I wanted to behead you, it would have happened. Whoa, don't be mad we got away. Thanks for stepping her. in with Valerie. Sure, don't mention it. Ugh, look, I know you two have been through a lot, but I assure you I'm here to help. And I don't anticipate that'll be very long because when I feel the contract is filled, I'll be out of your lives. So let's just get through this. Well, welcome aboard, I guess. Thank you. So, uh, what's up with your friend? <laughs> he just gets that way when he's scared. Vaughn got shot by some incapacitating bullet or something. But other than that, though, he, he seems fine-ish. <laughs> yeah, that was probably a poor choice. Oh, yeah. I think I got something. What you got? I don't know, but I, I found out there's an on button somewhere. You've been looking at that thing for like 20 minutes. Well, it's apparently very small. So she said. Oh, is that it? Initiating Gorta startup sequence. Energy chassis required for Vault of the Traveler protocol. Loading coordinates for energy chassis. Oh, that's good. Gortis activated. Happy birthday. Hi! Wow! Hey! Really great to meet you. Huh? I think I was expecting something... different? I'm sorry if you're disappointed. No. No, it's not that. Reese, be nice. 
Is this it? Yes, it is. You're asking because it's just too awesome, right? Too awesome to believe. Something like that. <laughs> I think he's crying because he can't blink. Oh! We should probably get him some eye drops or something. Uh, oh, cool! We got another robot! It's very nice to meet you. How is your day going? It's a mixed bag. That's great! Variety is so important. Bordis, hi. Hi! What are we supposed to do now? Well, that depends. I take it if you activated me, you'd like to get a bolt. Yep, that that's the that's the thing. Please do that. Great! Now, I don't know every detail, but I was created by Atlas as a last-ditch effort to get to the riches of a vault to get a leg up on those Hyperion guys. Well, we are still number one. Atlas had facilities all over Pandora, working on the pieces of me to get it done faster. But then, that lady made it a little more difficult to assemble by killing every Atlas employee. Well, uh, how many more pieces are there? No idea. But the next piece we need is... Okay. This should be interesting. Everybody up and out! Come on, Slowpoke! Time's all wasted! Yeah, he's dead. Uh, Gordis? Hmm? He is, um... He's not... Feeling well. She's determined to get him going, but it's not happening. Anyone, uh, anyone want to take this one? Oh, he's he's dead, Gordis. Oh, that's sad. No, he he was a he was a bad person, like like really, really bad. Oh, well, good riddance then. <laughs> I was about to say, did they get Vaughn? But they must have. Well, that's not what I was expecting Gortus to be. <laughs> that's just weird. Totally wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to even be a person that could speak. I was just expecting to be something. Who's even driving this thing? <laughs> Eggs. Oh. I'm guessing that's Jack that's serving them, maybe? I don't know.
scooter. Well, that was a interesting little intro. Thirty minutes late intro. Hey, kid. Uh, just checking in. Don't want to distract you from the victory lap you're probably taking now that Vasquez is dead. But, uh, you haven't told Athena about me at all, have you? Uh, why do you ask, bruh? Oh, uh, why do you ask? Because if she finds out about me, she'll cut your frickin' head off before you can even explain yourself. I'm not exaggerating. This chick's nuts. She really, really doesn't like me. Oh. Okay, look, kiddo. Stop calling me kiddo, please. Who are you talking to? Uh, I... <laughs> oh, you know, just, just myself. Just psyching myself up to find this fault, you know what I mean? All right. <clears throat> I suddenly need to go to the roof. Listen, you're probably gonna die, you know that, right? And I'm not talking about Athena here. I'm, I'm just saying, like, in general. General sort of impending death. Oh, okay. Is this about me not letting you take over my cybernetics? Yeah, it's about that. You trusted that floozy with a flashbang over your old pal Jack here, and look where I got you. I could have grabbed that drone before he turned your buddy into a code rack. I am uh, detecting a little lack of trust here, pal. What's going on? Tick tock. Why'd you go with What's Her Nuts' plan instead of mine, huh? Your brain fall out of your head? Well, you know, I'm just not really into that whole mass killing thing. Oh, oh, yeah, totally. Well, in that case, I've got some fun news for you. And this is hot off the presses. You're definitely gonna die! You know what? Fiona's plan didn't include mass murder. It worked out okay. Oh, yeah? Yeah, what was that plan exactly? Uh, throw a flashbang and then sort of run in a random direction. Oh, that sounds like a great long-term <laughs> strategy. You guys are a couple of freaking geniuses. Look, you don't trust me, I get it. But let me spoil the big secret about surviving on Pandora. It's not about who's got the biggest gun, it's about teamwork. More than that, it's about compromise. If your old pal Vasquez had just given you your promotion, he wouldn't be dead, would he? Says the dead guy. Yeah, all right, sure. Yeah, you know what? Let's talk about that. You know why I died? Why is that guy talking to himself? He's going through some things. Probably because you're- Because I didn't work with the people I didn't trust. If I'd have just thrown stock options at the Vault Hunters instead of bullets, I'd be on a beach right now, doing disturbingly graphic things with the local <laughs> And if you can't learn to work with people you want to punch in the throat, well, you're, you're gonna die. Nothing but your pride and a big, fat hole in your sternum. It sucks. And shit hurts. Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? I, I can't hear you through how dead you are. That was, that was good stuff. <laughs> what the hell is that? I'm detecting some tension here. Which is a bummer. We should be pals, you know? I actually see a lot of myself in you. And I know I've done some kind of <laughs> things. But we're a team here, kiddo. And you can even ask Athena. I always look out for my team. So I'm just asking you. Trust me here. We've got so much in common. I blackmailed and murdered my way up the Hyperion ladder. 
You came up with that sick vault key deal? Huh? Hmm. I guess we can work together. For now. You see? That wasn't so hard. I won't let you down, kid. I'm gonna freeze. You. Just made him come. That sounded bad. I, I just realized that sounded kind of ominous. I thought I was going to kill you. I, I didn't actually mean it that way. My bad. Hey, we're pals. Everyone's back. That reminds me, though. Since we're going to be stuck with each other for the foreseeable future, I kind of want to know where the hell we're going. You know where we're going. We're following... No, 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 no. Not, not, not like, in general, idiot. What is it you want out of all this? Because I am going to help you get it. Sweet. I need you watching my back. And I will. You just gotta let me. You know, there's only so much I can do as a disembodied boogeyman. You know what I'm saying? Next time I can do something to help, just think it over. But yeah, that's all I need to know. Maybe we'll talk later. This, this, is, this has been good. It's a good chat. See ya. Well, you two got pretty chummy. Are all your BFFs murderous monsters? Guys, can we just call it for the night? We're not gonna find anything in this light. Yeah. All right. Your mask. What about it? It hides your identity. That is the definition of a mask, yes. <laughs> what of it? It implies we would recognize you if you didn't have it on. Maybe it protects me. Maybe I just think it looks cool. Maybe I'm just crazy. Lots of possibilities there. Oh, I can tell you right now, it doesn't look cool. Noted. No, none of the lines I put you on make any sense without you either knowing us or needing us. It's a compelling theory. How confident are you in this hunch? What I mean is, do you care to make a wager? I don't make bets when I don't know the outcome. Just thinking out loud. You should do a little less of that. Tell me about the dome. I'm done talking for a while. He can fill you in. Hey! What? He wants to know about the dome. Well, the creepy part or the pretty part? All of it. The dome. I guess this is where we were going. With the chorus. To find the, uh... The chassis thing? Yeah, it looks like they're glowing. Ooh. 